or sales rep. Okay, here we go. So uh, you started off with the long field name that you want. So we're going to do sales underscore rep underscore number. Okay, and then you use this, uh, use four, and then the shortened field name, that is 10 characters or less. So in this case, it's going to be sales rep. And then just like before, so you have the field name, uh, the type, so it's going to be a two, uh, two length character field, and then not null. Okay, and go to the next line, and this one's going to be sales underscore rep underscore name for name, and then, oh, that's, that's 25, not null. And then, so we have sales underscore rep underscore commission for commission numeric, and that is two length field, not null. In this case, uh, you can also uh, combine a default on it. So just like before, not null with default five. Let's go ahead and create that. If I didn't make a mistake, and there we go. So we created that table, and if we go ahead and take a look at it. There you go. You can see SQL has no problem pulling back uh, the the lengthened uh, field names. So that's one kind of way you can get around that um, is just by using um, putting in the the uh, field alias, okay, for, okay, and then followed by the regular um, definition of the uh, file or the field.